You killed my brother. It's a life-saving drug, but most of the city's first responders don't even have access to it. We're talking about naloxone, a drug that can actually reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. Now, police say that over the weekend, there were 27 overdoses in the downtown core, four of them fatal. Currently, paramedics are the only first responders that have access to naloxone, but that's about to change. Once the proper medical directors are in place, once we have the proper training done for our staff and we've acquired the drugs, uh, Toronto Fire Service will have naloxone on every frontline fire apparatus. Toronto Fire... That's good because every fireman is known forever. It's a breeding problem. You give them air until EMS shows up because drug overdose mimics any respiratory emergency and there's over a million people taken to the hospital in Ontario with a breeding problem. And they know what public health is teaching, and Mr. Air Koskage is dead wrong. She, he's teaching chest compressions. Mr. Hoskage, he's a little bit, he's a doctor. Anyway, it's costing you hundreds of millions, and read the comment box. It's a no-brainer. Any 10-year-old child knows it's wrong chest compressions.